Alright guys, okay, we are busy disking now. So you can see the difference between here where we dissed. It didn't break all the clots, but you can see the difference between here where the tractor is disking and here where it has been ripped. Look how big is this. Look how big is it. All this. And I put my feet in there. Look how deep does my leg go. And then here, where it's been dissed, look how beautiful. So the tractor is coming again. It's very far. Let me see if I can get closer to get it. And we all know how difficult it is to disc of a tractor without water inside, right? Because water adds that weight and it cools down the tires from this heat of the soil. So, as you can see. There it is, there it is, this thing. Going again. Whoa! Robert! Okay, now here's the things that are blocking the disc reverse onion. So all this stuff uh, making it difficult for the disc to go. All the stumps that we need to get rid of otherwise the disc, the disc won't be able to work. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Heavy little thing this. This makes it difficult for a disc. Right. So that's the other thing the driver must check. All the stumps and logs. That's disturbing it. Okay. I think it's ready now. He must just get his line. Put it on the floor. Go. This is a Messi Ferguson 455 Extra. It's doing the job quite good actually. Okay, so what we usually would do if you were in the veg industry, you disc like this, you can see not all clots are broken like this, these are big clots. Okay, so after the disking, you know, big clots are broken, we do the reaches, let's say you're planting carrots or cabbage, we do the reaches, we've got a, we'll be having a reach maker, do the reaches and after that you bring the rotavator, okay, then you get it in there. As slow as one low, that's how slow you drive, one go, two low. And the rotavator spins and it spins and as it's spinning, you break all these funny funny claws that you couldn't break with a disc. So that the seeds can grow nicely. So now here it goes. Look at the dust. Anyway. There he is, gone. So I gotta do this whole field. There's the bulldozer, look at the bulldozer. Let's see if we can zoom a bit. There's the bulldozer. So yeah. This is how we farm on the slopes, on the steep sections. But I'm confident we might, we can finish this section today. This middle section. And we've got that section at the bottom, that section at the other side, and the other section. So it's quite big, but it's doing pretty well. I'm happy. I'm happy with what it's doing. So, uh, where is he? 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 There he is. You can hardly see him.
So yeah, he's doing pretty well. Let's just keep his lines, keep his lines. Can see how it's... Oh, this is a perfect shot. Perfect. So yeah. Okay, that's all for it for today. Welcome to Farming for the Future. Please subscribe to my channel if you love farming videos. In fact, if you love farming. If you love farming content and you're a farmer, please subscribe. If you're not a farmer, also please subscribe. It will help you a lot. Farming is the way no matter what. What you do, no matter what, prof what profession you have, at the end of the day, you still need food, right? You still want food, right? And that's why we are here, to produce food for the nations. That's why the channel is called Farming for the Future. Okay. Enjoy it.